I'm Johnny of Club Knox. Let's take a look at what Animal Crossing New Horizons patch 1.1.0 will bring. Details coming from the Japanese Nintendo site reveal new specifics about the patch. First, it will enable players to access Nintendo Switch Online features involving Nook Link. Nook Link allows the use of a smart device's keyboard to text more comfortably in-game and also supports voice chat. Hello. It will also allow the transfer of QR codes from Happy Home Designer and New Leaf to New Horizons. It will also give players access to other online functions, such as the ability to play with friends through the internet. However, a Nintendo Switch Online membership is required for these features. In addition, those with membership will be able to purchase a bonus rug item using Nook Miles. Next, those who install the update will receive a special Nintendo Switch furniture item in the mailbox. If you use any normal Joy-Cons when loading your game, you will receive the default blue and red Joy-Con Switch item. However, if you are lucky enough to get your hands on a limited edition Animal Crossing Switch, you will receive that version in the game. Specifically, the game checks for the colored Joy-Cons from the limited edition Switch, so owning just the Joy-Cons will still net you the item in-game. No, not that net! Note that you are able to receive both versions of this item on a single game if you have both normal Joy-Cons as well as the limited edition ones. You just need to reload the game and you will receive a new letter from Nintendo with the second Switch system. Next, Pocket Camp players will be able to receive three items from the special Pocket Camp item set. The Camp Board, a Van Statue, and Special Clothing. Additional items from this set will likely be given in future updates. To receive these items, you need to link Pocket Camp to your My Nintendo account, if you have not already done so. If you haven't played Pocket Camp, don't worry. You only need to complete the tutorial and progress far enough to design your campsite in order to claim the items. Next, access your My Nintendo account via the in-game menu and locate the reward called Animal Crossing New Horizons Special Order Ticket plus 50 Leaf Tickets. You can claim it for zero platinum points and then you'll be given a download code which can be redeemed in the eShop on your Nintendo Switch. After the download has completed, you can receive the items at the Nook Stop under Nook Shopping. The full detailed instructions will be linked in the description. Finally, the bulk of the update is to give access to the special Bunny Day event. In previous games, players could time travel to holiday and other in-game events to receive special items early. In an effort to prevent that, these events will now be released periodically through free updates. In addition, these special events were previously only one day long, but it's been confirmed the special Bunny Day event will last from April 1st to April 12th. No, that's not April Fools, the event will now be nearly two weeks long. In addition to rolling out events and updates to prevent time travelers from accessing future content, an internet connection will be required to briefly confirm the real date before the event is activated on April 1st, even if the patch is already downloaded. In other words, even after downloading the update, time travelers won't be able to skip ahead to complete the event early. The user playing will need a Nintendo account in order to perform this check, after which the event can be played normally without an internet connection. Don't worry, even those without a Nintendo Switch Online membership will still be able to download these updates and participate in these events. An internet connection is only required to download the update and check the date once the event goes live. There are currently two important unknown factors about how these events will run. First, it's unknown if all access to the event will be restricted after the two-week period. For example, could a player download the update, miss the event, and then be able to time travel backwards to participate? Second, we don't know if, once the event ends, an internet check will still be required to participate in the following years. It makes sense that, since the event has already happened, it can no longer be cheated early through time traveling making the internet check unnecessary. This is assuming that the events will be the same on a yearly basis, which has been the tradition throughout the Animal Crossing series. That's all I could find for now. Let me know what you think about these new changes. Do you think players should be given the freedom to time travel and play the game how they like? Or do you think time traveling is considered cheating and ruins the integrity of the game? Or maybe some middle ground I'm not thinking of. With that, I'll leave you with this. Sometimes treasure is not hidden, it is only invisible. See you!